emotional creatures and we've got some level of emotional attachment to what we're actually doing. And that manifests itself in different people in different ways. Um, we quite often measure emotional intelligence as an emotional intelligence quotient, which is EQ, which is the opposite in some ways in terms of that, that graph we've just showed you in terms of task and people. This is the emotional side of things. Now, at Melbourne University, obviously, we have smart people. To get into Melbourne University, you've got a very high IQ. Quite a lot of students struggle when they get here because they're not necessarily measured on IQ because that doesn't guarantee success. And it doesn't guarantee success in the workplace or as a leader as well because we're talking about how does this impact on, on leadership influencing capabilities. And at the basis of all of this is coming down to Goldman's original definitions, the ability to monitor one's own and others' feelings and emotions, to discriminate amongst them and to use this information to guide one's thinking and emotions. In other words, and that brings us into the point where we've got some, uh, a level of effectiveness in leadership, the ability to actually influence other people and get them to come along for the ride or the journey that we're actually coming on. Because as a supervisor, manager, director or whatever term you're using in an organisation or a leader in a social sense, you need to engage others in the journey that you're actually going on to. I'd like to invite you to uh, think about uh, the concept what Rod presented and uh, think of the choreography what you saw and come up with one particular connection that you think it might be relevant. Change, 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 change. This is a cross-hemisphere exercise. <laughs> the point of it is not to be successful with it, but to make the brain work in a complex way, okay? So, <laughs> peace and rock and roll, peace and rock and roll, peace and rock and roll. And rock and roll. You can practice this, this really helps before exams or before speeches, you can do this. It took me two weeks to work it out, I think you will manage in one. The first possible connection between the concept and between the choreography that you just saw, what comes to your mind? Flexibility. Okay. So. What do we have so far? We have flexibility, <laughs> then <laughs> emotion, <laughs> then we have sadness, <laughs> and impact. <laughs> okay. is like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which way? To the right first. Left to the right first? Yeah, with a uh, little bit like. <laughs> You did even, uh, it's tricky, Asko, you did the leg movement the yeah. opposite direction. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! <laughs> we have one thing. Interaction. 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 Uh, Listening. 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 And then we have control. 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 eventually integrated in the choreography somewhere and when you saw me doing it then you go to the next mm -hmm. next coming element what uh, emotion Limitations. 
find them. Adventure.